Hey everyone, so today we're just going to do a video that actually I did last year and I never was able to finish it. And today we're just going to be talking about uh, Garnet Brocade Sedum. It's a really beautiful sedum that um, attracts bees galore when it starts blooming. So I want to share that with you today and just show you the different stages of the growth. Well, if you ever see it out there on the market, it's a beautiful one to get. In front of you is the Garnet Brocade Sedum. Right now we are in May. This is what it looks like in the early stages of its growth. It forms kind of a mounded plant. It does need some support I have found because as it gets taller and as it gets the seed heads on it and starts blooming, if you have weather that can be rainy, a lot of wind, it does help being supported. That is why I support it with these old corn crib wire tunnel cages that used to be used years ago in the corn cribs. I have two garnet brocades. This one's on the north side of my bed and the other one was on the south side of my bed. So you can see which one, which one is growing the biggest. The wajilia is in front of it, so I think it's kind of shading it a little bit too much, possibly. But I don't think it really hurts it any. The wajilia is going to get cut down here after it gets done blooming. But as you can see, it's a pretty full, thick plant. And as it comes through the wire cages, you won't even see the wire after a while. So right now it comes more of a, it's more of a green color, right? But you're going to see later on this video how beautiful it becomes as the season moves on. So we are in almost mid-June and as you can see the leaves of the Garnet Brocade are starting to turn a little bit purple. This is what they do and we've had a heck of a lot of heat already so these will probably be turning pretty early so just stay tuned as this plant keeps changing its color. So now we're in July and as you can see it's getting darker in color and it won't be long and it'll be blooming but we've been really hot here so this really brings out the darkness also. The plant looks nice and mounded, but if we were getting a lot of rain, this would look a lot different. So it looks really good. I'm giving it very little water right now because sedum can handle it a little more dry. So here's the Garnet Brocade Sedum. I wanted to show you in August. We are at August 22nd and you can see they're starting to bloom. Can you see that? And now soon the bees will be all over this plant. It's a very attractive plant. As you can see how big it gets. It, it gets probably around 3 by 4 right now. Very beautiful, very pretty 
very easy to grow. The leaves get a more of a purple darkness to them. The plant does get some separation once in a while, but I think it does need divided. And I also think the, the heads of the flowers get a little heavy. But I can see the bees and little bees and stuff around here now. What do you think of this sedum? Very attractive, isn't it? September 1st. Now you can really see it blooming, can't you? Very pretty. We got a cloudy day so the bugs aren't quite as bad today. Listen, 